Welcome back to another Shaving with Surge. And I want to thank you for joining me on this shave. And I have a lot to talk about, so I'm going to get right into it. So um, first thing is, I still have my Max Sprecher for sale. The Her Commissory and the Her and Razors um, Skull Razor. I have them listed for a pizza party. I also have them listed on Murphy and McNeil. And if you're interested in them, message me on Instagram and maybe we can work something out. So uh, you never know unless you ask, you know? And I'm trying something new. I'm trying to look at the camera lens instead of the picture of myself because it was, you know, uh, um, something that uh, a buddy had mentioned to me that uh, it makes it more personable if I speak to the lens and not to the screen. And it's really hard because I just see myself here and that's what I want to look at, the screen. Because, you know, it's a big phone screen and all this little green light from the lens. But anywho, and uh, what else am I going to be posting? Oh, I'm also going to be posting my Greaves Vintage 1816 to 1823 13 16 razor. I'm going to post it for a pizza party. I'm going to post it on Murphy and McNeil, whatever goes first. Um, and it's awesome vintage, almost 200 years old. And uh, if you're interested in that, message me. Maybe we could work something out. I don't know. Maybe price is right for you. Let, let's see. All right. And uh, what else? Oh, and I'm going to be listing a Smiles brush too. Badger V69. I'm going to be listing that for a pizza party. And um, SGR group on Facebook. So take a look out for that. All right. So for soap, back from my vacation. And I'm ready to get a nice shave in. I'm going to be using my SG Customs Shaving with Surge. And there is, and there was two extra sets on the list on Seabone uh, Gold, but somebody bought one or two individuals bought the serum and the soap, but he has it listed as something different. Come on, buddy. I paid, the, I, I, I paid for it, should have left my name on it. Why change the name, you know? Um, so he has it listed as Leatherneck, and here we go. It's an Asian blend of hinoki wood and nagarmatha that creates an earthy woody blend with strong notes of leather. Like I said, if you want my shaving with surge soap, he just changed the name of it. You know, I, I paid to, I picked the ingredients, I paid, I paid it, and I guess, you know, he made enough for three batches. One batch was mine, he listed two. And I want to return to it. Wanted to use it again. So I'm using that. Also want to let you guys know that uh, there's an extra set listed on the sebum side. It's just called Leatherneck, something different, but it's the soap that I commissioned. And uh, there it is. So, boom. And for the razor, I'm going to be using the, my Yuri, my Art Razors, my console. This is my 10 8s, um, extra hollow. And there's the file work and the scales, and this thing shaves like a dream. For the brush, I'm coming in with the Kraken, the Kraken, there we go. And there's the coin, and I got it leathered all, whoa. Well, it looked like it was perfect, but now I look down on it, now it's all got a little extra watery. It's not a dense lather, it's a very creamy, like sour cream lather, but the shave, how my face felt, the post shape, it just felt incredible. Enough where I actually do want more sebum soaps. I enjoyed it that much in that quality of it. I am gonna be clearing out my soaps. I'm gonna be posting soap sets for sale soon too. I'm out of room and uh, the shelf is fully full. I got three, six, nine stacks of soaps right there. And um, I'm gonna be posting Things for sale. It's time to clear out the den of things. All right, and here we go. Get into it. This is right before work. I'm gonna start painting this on. And it was given to me as a tip Oh, a buddy of mine 
on how to ladder this and he said he highly recommends adding one milliliter at a time when you're adding water he's all because this stuff goes quickly from uh, one milliliter of water can be the difference between it being dry and going to overhydrated easily and now i see what he means the last time i did overhydrate because i was trying to build more of a lather which this doesn't create a, a dense lather it's just a more of a creamy lather not um high density and so i knew i did i did overhydrate because i was trying to build more of a lather this time i kept that in mind and uh I probably should have stopped one add of water before. And it does just quickly go from to overhydrated quickly. But overhydrated doesn't mean a bad thing. This is gonna be really slick. So I'm gonna enjoy this still. I'm gonna go with that. Just nice, earthy, woody leather. Shaving with Surge. <laughs> I don't know why he changed the name. A little, you know, just should have kept it, man. I guess I'm not cool enough. I'm not, I don't have that, uh, that high uh, name val value yet in the wet shaving community. <laughs> just kidding. Here you go. I can't see. Had a hard time finding scene. So I am back from my vacation. Um, had a great time. If you follow my Instagram. You will see I post pictures, went up to the sequoias, like I said in my last video, right at the cabin. Man, those trees are magnificent. They are huge, huge. It was it was just a beautiful sight to behold. And um, I had a great time. I just never driven that much in my life. The cabin was out in the Agilis National Forest, and it was far from everything. Um, when I arrived to the cabin, I made it with half a tank of gas. And, um, you know, within the last like hour, hour, 20 minutes, I was looking for a gas station. I wanted to fill up, there was no gas station in sight. And, uh, Give you an idea how far it was from from um, a gas station. It took it was forty miles an hour drive because this is down a mountain and everything to the nearest gas station. Hour drive. So those people there who live there actually have these giant gas tanks that I guess I assume I didn't ask. They fill up monthly every couple months. A big gas tanker comes and drops out. Those roads were so narrow and winding. Um, so I wish that was something that Airbnb host listed that, hey, you know, there's no gas stations out here. You know, the nearest convenience market was in a small town, which wasn't bad, you know, um, about 35 minutes away. And, uh, you know, that's where I bought food at. And I went out to the gas station. Um, there was, a uh, it was out to the city of like farmland and it was, um, a butcher there and a buying meat there, you know. So just things like this, I wish they would have listed, but you know, besides the it being far from everything, it was gorgeous. It was private, it was gorgeous going down these mountain roads. Uh, seeing, you know, my daughters, we got to see wild deer just running across the road, jumping into the bushes, 
beautiful sight to behold of, of just trees and the natural landscape. Uh, lots of cows, horses, uh, vultures, hawks, squirrels. I call them suicide squirrels because they just ran across the road like crazy. And you, it was, you just seen dead squirrels run over. Very, very consistent. They were just, they were suicide squirrels. And um, yeah, the, the trees, the sequoias were about an hour, hour drive out more from the cabin. We went there. Did the, um, it's called the Trail of 100 Giants. My three-year-old did great. The trail was only an hour, an hour, a mile and a half. And I was so proud of her, she did great. She walked half of it all on her own. Just, she had, she was so excited just walking and being out. And then um, too tired on the way back, Daddy carried her on, her on my shoulders, you know. Um, and the trees, man, ginormous. I mean, huge. Me standing next to them and people climbing them and all that because they're the fallen ones. It was incredible. You know, the sequoias are the giant trees in the world. It's just a few hour drive from where I live and first time ever seeing them. And I'm glad I did. The night sky of the cabin was incredible. Incredible. Thousands, thousands of stars in the sky. I hate to break your neck looking everywhere you look, were just clusters of stars. My daughter was blown away by that. I was blown away, away by it. And just the view of that night sky, the sequoias made it all well worth it. But that driving that was never drove so much in my life. Easily put on a thousand miles in my car. side but yeah now back to normal life get ready to go back to work and there is so much work I don't even want to go I have so much work orders to take care of Water heaters to microwaves to dishwashers. There's 17 work orders. Trash is going to be horrendous. This we're closed some days. The city doesn't pick up trash on Sundays as well, so our chutes and everything are always full. Just a lot of cleanup. Not looking forward to it and those work orders. The worst one is gonna be the water heater. That one's gonna take two to three hours to do because of the drain process of it. To replace the valve, I can tell it's a valve by the work order, but I don't have an extra valve, so. I didn't have time to place the order on Friday. I was like, I'll just, or Thursday, the last day of work, I was like, I'll just place it when I come back. And of course, I need it, right? They don't go out as frequently. You know, I might get one or two a month of those valves, if that, and that's a lot, you know? And uh, yeah, don't have it. Of course, I need it. That's going to be the hardest and most stressful part of the day. Um, because then, if I don't have it, it means I got to take it from a vacant unit. And it's double the work. So now it's two water heaters I got to drain and remove a valve from. And sometimes valves don't work, they don't shut down all the way. It's 
just run into complications. off and I will be right back. All right, and I'm back, did the rinse off. Again, just uh, incredible. And the, the sebum scent lingers a lot. I, it's strong, like um, my rag that I clean off my lather with on my razor blade, I just normally just fold it in half, throw it in my dirty clothes, right? And I washed my clothes and I can still, I got the, the scent of my shaving surge scent coming through from the dryer even after it was washed. So the scent, the scent is strong, lasting. Not when you smell it, the strength of it, but it's long lasting. All right. Definitely woody, leather, earthy. Like I said, if you guys want it, there's one extra set on sebum, but it's not called shaving massage there. He calls it leather neck. And sebum is incredible stuff. Definitely worth every penny. I'm gonna get rid of some soaps and then buy me some more sebum. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you guys. You guys take care.